Don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more videos on lesson content. Got no place to be. Got no place to go. Come hang out with me on the Mr. Flanders Show. Good morrow, everyone. Mr. Flanders here, and we are diving into our second story in our new Reading Mastery book. And let's see what we're taking a look at. All right, we are... Oh, there we go. Unblur, unblur. We are looking at story 85, Don Has Super Fun. Okay, and we're going to start off with a little review of what happened in the other stories leading up to this, because this is actually a continuation of the stories we did in last week's lessons. So, Don Has Super Fun. Who gave Don the dime? Do you guys remember who gave Don the dime? Yes, it was the woman who was at the bottom of the stairs in that room in the hat shop. Okay. And where did he tape the dime? Where did Don tape the dime? It was like his arm, his hand, somewhere somewhere around there. Yeah. Yeah. And then, was he doing good things? Do you guys remember what he did? Yeah, he put a bunch of holes in the walls. Yeah, not good, guys. Not good. And then lastly, did Don mope after he became a superman? Well, uh, I don't think so. I mean, he had superpowers, so he wasn't really sad anymore, right, guys? Right. All right, so we know Don wanted to be a superhero, became one, but wasn't exactly making the best choices. Let's read this story to see what happens next. <clears throat> okay. Don was hopping around the store in his cap and his cape. He was hitting the walls and making holes. He was having a lot of fun. All at once he stopped. He said, I will go outside and show what a Superman I am. Oh man, he doesn't sound like he's doing a lot of good stuff, guys. <laughs> When Don left the store, he didn't open the door. He ran into the door. Crash! Some boys were standing outside the store. They said, look at that funny man. Look at that funny man in a cap and a cape. Don said, I am no funny man. I am a superman. Don ran to a car that was parked near the store. He picked the car up and gave it a big heave. A heave is a throw, guys. The car crashed into another car. The boys yelled, let's get out of here. That man is a nut. Come back, Don shouted. Let me show you how super I am. Wow, guys, Don is getting out of control. <laughs> but the boys did not come back. They ran as fast as they could go. Don said, I think I will fly to the top of this store. So he did. Then he said, I think I will dive down to the street. So he did. He took a dive. Crash! He made a big hole in the street. This is a lot of fun, Don said. To be continued. Oh my goodness, guys. What is Don doing? What is he doing? Does it sound like he's making good choices with his powers? No, absolutely not. He is making a mess. Throwing cars at people. Look, here's a picture of it. He's throwing a car, man. This guy, Don, bro. Just, just chill, man. Eat a Twix. Mm -hmm. Relax. Do something that is just, just calm. Just calm down. All right. Well. We've got our picture here. We've read our story. Let's go ahead and look at our worksheet now. Okay. So we just read story 85. So that means we're going to be jumping into worksheet 85. Okay. Uh, this is worksheet 85, side one. We will be doing both side one and side two. Let's look at our first half of our, uh, our worksheet here. Who gave Don the dime? A woman in a cape and a cap. 
a woman in a house, or a woman in the street. Well, we talked about this at the beginning of the story. Uh, if you remember, the lady had a cape and a cap. She was at the bottom of the hat store, remember? So um, I think I just gave you guys the answer. But uh, yeah, make sure you're circling the right choice and then you are writing it in uh, on the line here. If you're doing this in Google Classroom, you've got the blue boxes to write in. Okay, number two. What did she tell Dawn to do? Did she tell Dawn to do bad things? Many things. Good things. Or nothing. Think about what she told Don to do, okay? Think about what he's doing right now in the story. I think what she told him isn't the same thing as what he's doing. Number three, did Don do good things? I don't think so, guys, but I'll leave it up to you. Um, I don't think throwing cars at people's a good thing. Just throwing that out there. Number four, did he open the door to the store? Okay, did he open the door to the store? Then, number five, did the boys like him? And then number six, what did he do to the car? He fixed it, he gave it a heave, he sat in it, or he ate it. Oh my goodness, did he eat that car? I do not think so. Remember, I said he threw the car. And there's another word that we could use to say throw, and that is heave. So pick the answer that has the word heave in it. What did he do to the car? And then number seven, was Don having fun? Think about all the craziness that Don is doing. Was he having fun with it? He might have been. But, just because he was having fun, does that mean he was doing good things? No, not at all. Alright guys, go ahead and finish up that half of the worksheet. Uh, don't worry if you are not done yet. You feel free to pause the video. Remember, there's no rush, okay? I'm going to move this up though. And uh, we're going to get started in just a second. Take your time. Alright. The next part, uh, if you remember is I'm going to read a sentence to you and then we have to follow the instructions down at the bottom of the worksheet okay so the sentence says Jill felt sad Jill felt sad <sighs> number one the direction says circle the word that tells who felt sad so if you're at home, you're just going to put a circle around who felt sad. And if you're doing this in Google Classroom, you're just going to move one of the shapes over, okay? Number two, make a P under the circle. Make a P under the circle. Number three, make a line under the word that tells how Jill felt. So Jill felt sad. You're going to make a line under the word that tells how she felt. Okay. Alright, while you're finishing that up, I'm going to flip the page over. Remember, if you need to, pause the video. There's no rush. Okay, oh, it's a little blurry. Let's see if we fix that. It's still a little blurry. Fix it, fix it, fix it. Ooh, Guess that's okay. All right. Let's go ahead and read uh, our paragraph here to answer these questions. And then we're going to jump back down to the bottom of the page like, like we just did. Now, uh, remember, the expectation is when you're at home, not only are you reading the story after I read the story, you are also reading these paragraphs, okay? You guys need to practice as much reading as you can before we move on to second grade. Uh, let's go ahead and jump into the story, though. One day, the superbug met a sad grasshopper. 
The grasshopper said, I can't hop. My hopper does not work. The superbug said, I can fix that. The grasshopper said, I hope you can make me hop. Then the superbug began to bite the grasshopper. What? The grasshopper said, I'm getting out of here. And the grasshopper hopped like mad. I can hop, he said. Wow, I mean, I guess that's one way to fix him, but whoa. Dude, the superbug is kind of mean. He bit him. Craziness. All right, let's look at question one. Who did the superbug meet? So there are two bugs in this story. The superbug met a what? Okay, number two. Why was the grasshopper sad? He couldn't do something, guys. What couldn't he do? Okay, it's because his blank did not work. His what didn't work? Number three, who said, I hope you can make me hop? Who said that? Number four, what did the superbug do to make the grasshopper hop? The superbug began to blank. What did he do? He did what to the grasshopper, guys? All right. And while you're finishing that up, I'm going to move the page up a little bit. We're going to answer these questions about number six. And then we were done with story and lesson 85 for this week. All right. Let's look at the picture on page six of our reader. Okay. This time we're going to try something a little different. I'm going to try posting it right there in the corner. All right. What is Don lifting? Tell me, what is Don lifting in this picture? Okay. Number two, does Don look happy or sad? And then number three, do the boys look happy or sad? Think about what's happening in this picture, guys. Okay. What is Don doing and how do the boys look? <clears throat> Well, on that note, everybody, we are done with our lesson. Thank you very much for joining me for Story 85. Uh, I'm really interested to see what happens with Don next in Story 86. Uh, luckily, we won't have too much time to wait because that's the next lesson coming up. So I will see you guys there. Until then, stay classy, stay safe, and stay hysterical. <laughs>